not carry, so it, it still moves up the beach, which is fine. Um, some of these pieces broke off from it. Um, and I kept this piece in my car for about three days over the summer last year when I collected it. And to my surprise, when I took it out of the car, because it got really hot, some of the oil was used out. And that was not there when I collected it. And believe you me, I was so pumped. I took this rock into the office and I was like, I went to all my coworkers and I was like, you guys smell my rock. Smell it. It smells like asphalt. And everybody thought I was crazy. And they still do, but that's okay. This is who I am and I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I was like, can I put this in a microwave? So some of that oil oozed out because when you heat it up, it, it's a little bit more, a little bit less viscous. It flows a little bit more, right? So let's talk about the Monterey Formation. How did it form? How did it get there? Where did the oil come from? What's going on? We gotta go back in time. So we're going to the California coast 18 million years ago. 18 million years ago, something very important happened. The Pacific Plate, which is where we're standing right now, we're on the Pacific Plate, collided with the North American Plate for the first time. You can cross over to the North American Plate, I think on Highway 14. And the San Andreas Fault was born. Yay, how many of us know who that is? The San Andreas Fault. Yeah, she's a big, beautiful lady. Like we're waiting on her to Anyway, so that fault is the boundary between these two plates. And on that fault, those plates are moving like this. They slide past each other. Okay? But not very smoothly, right? Because then we get earthquakes. When that movement started, this little block right here next to my finger says SB, stands for Santa Barbara. That little block got caught in that movement and <coughs> it got rotated outward like this. Okay? So I'll show that to you guys over here. Here's our rotation. Here's our rotation. Oh. Okay? And when we did that, we opened up a big oceanic basin right here. Lots of space for the ocean to come fill in. Guess what lives in the ocean, everybody? <gasps> Diatoms, what? We talked about this, right? So we create the conditions for lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of diatoms for millions and millions and millions and millions of years. And then they die and they go into the sediment and the sediment becomes rock. And we take that rock and we cooked it under the right amounts of heat and pressure because this movement on the fault continued and it still continues today. So all this material right here Right? If we continue that movement, it gets smashed up against everything else. And it gets cooked with all that pressure. And when you smash rocks, remember we make anticlines. So we create all that oil by cooking everything. And then we trap it with those anticlines. So we'll do it one more time for you all over here. Big oceanic basin, and then we smash all that stuff together. Okay? And then big ocean basin, and everything gets mushed. And that's how we create the oil. That's how we create the oil traps. Now, what does this have to do with the La Brea Tar Pits machine? Oh, in order to get the oil, it's not about the fossils. The land, the uh, the plates have to move. Is that what you you're have saying? to. Well, you can cook that oil, the that organic material, those those little diatoms. You have to cook them, um, and that's how we did it here by moving those plates around, by oh. squeezing everything together. That creates a lot of pressure, and pressure generates heat. So it was exactly what we needed to happen to turn oh. these into this. And if that had not happened, this would not be here. So which brings us to, like, let's, you know, what does this have to do with the La Brea Tar Pits? So I'm guessing that y'all are here today because you wanted to see some fossils, right? You're here to see some fossils. The fossils are here because the asphalt is here. The asphalt is coming up out of the ground because of a fault. Yay, geology. There's a fault that runs across the park, severed a little bit of one of the oil fields. Um, the oil is here. Well, fossils are here because the asphalt's here. Asphalt is here because the oil is here. The oil is here 